Good morning everybody, welcome back to the tiny home. This week I thought I would do a wee capsule wardrobe tour. Um, there was a little bit of interest in this when I did my previous video where I showed you how I've organised uh, my capsule wardrobe in our tiny home. I'll link that below if you haven't seen it. And a few folk had some questions about why a capsule and I suppose wanting to see a little bit more of my wardrobe so I thought I would do that with you guys today um but yeah a bit of background on, on why I capsule so i have a year round capsule wardrobe i don't capsule by season and that's primarily because i live in the scottish islands and it's very unpredictable weather wise and it's cold and wet a lot of the year so i just find if i put things away i end up just taking them back out so for me it's easier just to have things that i can wear all year round and layer up layer down depending on the weather so that's why I've, I've done it that way and in terms of why I capture generally that's mostly because I embraced minimalism lifestyle um, about three years ago now um, and it was definitely like my clothing was one of the first things I properly culled with that um, it was a big focus for me because I just wasn't enjoying my wardrobe it wasn't reflecting my lifestyle I had so much tat in there so much fast fashion rubbish that I just wanted to clear it out so yeah my wardrobe now I mean it's never perfect I don't think there is such a thing I think our wardrobes are always evolving alongside us um, but it's a lot better and it's a lot more reflective of my style but also my lifestyle and I've really been enjoying this year in particular using it and it's worked really well for me um but yeah and in terms of my style so you'll see a lot of it it's not very fancy you know I've got my style keywords I like functional is up there cozy and then like earthy like earthy toned clothing or, or rustic or um what is it cabin core i like that if you've not seen that um pinterest it cabin core it's definitely a vibe that i i really appreciate um but yes i will get started showing you what i've got i've just arranged it um differently to show you guys i don't usually hang all my t-shirts up i usually fold those to put it away but i thought it'd be easier i've only got we've only got this small hanging space so I can't hang all my clothes in here nor would I want to um, but like I said I showed you how I organised the rest of it so you can check out that video if you want to but yeah I thought I'd start with tops basically um, and you can see that <laughs> there's not a huge amount of colour I do have colour in my wardrobe it's not monochrome but when it comes to just t-shirts and stuff I just keep it really simple I find it a lot easier um, so grey is a favourite <laughs> I have three long sleeve grey tops um, and they're all from a mix of different places so both of these I think are from Everlane and they're some of my favourites and they've lasted really well that's a sustainable brand they are more expensive though and then this this one was just thrifted and yet yeah, you'll see my wardrobe is basically made up of either thrifted items or those from sustainable brands and then short sleeve t-shirt wise I've got Another grey, that's just m and um, but that was thrifted, actually, Marks and Spencers originally. Another top from Everlane, I got these probably about over two years ago now, these basics, they've lasted really well. Um, and then I've got three white t-shirts, again, thrifted, I actually don't know what that brand is. Um, a bit of a splurge one, so this one's from Organic Basics, um, new, and was more expensive definitely but oh my god the quality is just something else i wish you could feel it it's really really soft so yeah organic basics if you haven't heard of them are a fantastic brand and yeah i've definitely never regretted this purchase um i'm just very careful with it though because i'm not i'm a bit messy so like a white t-shirt i'm a bit like oh it's risky but it's lasted a couple of years now so and then this one not completely plain so this is part of my merch as you can see it's the same design I'm wearing today so I do have my own sustainable merchandise clothing line with T-Mill um, so it's all the clothing is organic cotton um, and then I have a range of different styles of like t-shirts and jumpers I've got a jumper I'll show you when we get to that point um, and also lots of different colours as well so I'll link that below if you're interested um, and yeah I mentioned this in my previous video when I talked about organising my capsule wardrobe but it's the a wild soul and the dandelion because it kind of epitomises my brand and then I have two shirts that I tend to wear when I go out hiking so I tend to wear them like over a t-shirt I've got this one which is slightly lighter um, 
cotton so I usually wear this in the warmer months and that's from Mountain Warehouse I think and then this one is also from Mountain Warehouse but I actually thrifted it this one's actually a man's shirt um, but yeah I actually like I actually prefer this one I prefer it's a bit thicker which suits me and also it's just a bit more oversized which I prefer that fit and there's a little bit more colour <laughs> with those as well um, and then in terms of bottoms so I'm a leggings girl let's face it it's quite boring my bottoms <laughs> um, in the sense that I just wear a lot of black leggings which I'm wearing today I'm not sure you can see but I just have four pairs of black leggings that are my main go-to they're all from Marks and Spencers and just cotton so fairly fairly budget um, and just really comfortable uh, I do have another pair of leggings I have these my like, yoga outdoor uh, active that's the word I'm looking for active wear leggings so these I've had again for ages now probably over three years um, I do prefer cotton I find it more breathable than like lycra which this is but uh, these are so stretched now that they're they are comfortable they're not from a very sustainable brand again because I got them so long ago now like I still have some things in my wardrobe that that are still from less sustainable brands this is I think Fabletics which I don't know if they're sustainable but I'm thinking maybe not but they've lasted me to be fair um so I'll just wear them till they till they die basically and then in terms of smarter trousers I've got one pair of linen trousers a navy pair um these are where we around but they're quite lightweight so i tend to wear them quite a lot in the warmer months these are also from marks and spencers um if you don't know they're they are quite a, a budget brand compared to some of like organic basics for instance but they are more ethical and sustainable than a lot of other high street shops for instance and i don't have the budget to get everything from the higher end sustainable clothing places so I do go to Marks and Spencers for a lot of basics and I've tried these and they are nice I mean yeah you can tell there's a bit of bauble,ing it's quite wrinkled I've not seen eye in them um you can tell they're not really really like high quality linen but they've, they've served me pretty well and then I just have one pair of jeans surprisingly because I just don't wear them um I probably wear jeans like maybe once a month I go through phases um and these, yeah, like, then these are fast fashion. So I got these from Miss Selbridge years ago. Um, and they do fit nicely. Um, but they are getting quite worn. I do want to change these up. I think if I had a pair of jeans that fit better and were better quality, I'd more likely wear them a bit more often. But because I wear them quite infrequently, I've just not got to the point where I thought I needed to replace them yet. But I am eyeing up a pair on um, the brand Olive. Again, I'll link that below um, if you're interested. And they've got some really nice stuff. And I've seen... A pair of jeans in there I do like but unfortunately they are now out of stock in my size isn't that always the way <laughs> so I'll wait and see if that comes back and then I might have to swap out my jeans but yeah that's kind of some of my basics covered so I'll swap things around for you and then we're going to get into like all-in-ones so dresses dungarees jumpsuits etc now we're getting into the fun part of my wardrobe these are some of my favorite pieces um so we've got this dress here this is from sea salt but i actually got it on their ebay outlet so sea salt is a british band band <laughs> british brand based down in cornwall and they're really nice and sustainable and a lot of their clothing is quite functional and outdoorsy this is a little bit a little bit smarter than that um but it's completely linen and it's organic and it's this lovely blue it's kind of like i don't know how i've described that like a faded blue color it has pockets it has a wee tie belt thing and yeah I got this this year and I've worn it a couple of times it's sort of my only smart um, piece of clothing I suppose in my wardrobe um, I got it because I oh, I've got a couple of weddings coming up so I've got a wedding actually in a week's time so I wanted something to wear to that but also it was already on my list to get a slightly smarter linen dress that I can just go and wear like out on dates with my partner or for lunch with my friends but it's also nice and summery and I wore it yeah this summer when I went out for lunch with my partner and it was really nice it made me feel really feminine and girly and it reaches quite long it reaches like mid-calf um so it was really flattering really really flattering length and yeah I think I actually only got it for about under 30 pounds definitely with with delivery because it was on their ebay it was one of the only ones left in my size um whereas before i think it would have been more like 70 80 pounds so i was absolutely chuffed and i was actually eyeing up this the previous year and i was like oh, i love it but it's just a bit pricey so when i found it i was like yes <laughs> um and then we have 
I've got like, I like wearing stuff you can layer. So I have like apron dresses, pinafores, and I definitely want to get more of that in my wardrobe. So I've got this one, this is from Olive. That's the brand I mentioned earlier. And it, they, they call it apron dress. So it's kind of like a pinafore. It's really long. It comes down to like mid to long calf. <laughs> Not quite to my ankle, but it's quite, it's quite long. And it's just in one size. So yeah, I don't know, Olive, tend to do a lot of their stuff one size which I'm a bit like is it one size though um I don't know I've had mixed I've had mixed sort of uh feelings about that when I've ordered stuff but this works really well because it has a tie waist um and yeah, I love it my partner's less key and I think he just doesn't get it whereas I'm like I feel like I'm out of green gables that's the vibe and it also has pockets it's a theme here I like things with pockets and yeah this is a lovely green so in terms of colors in my wardrobe it is primarily blues and greens because they're just my favorite colors they remind me of being out of nature I have hints of like um bits of burgundy and mustard yellow um and more, more like autumnal colors occasionally but yeah my main wardrobe is blues greens and then having a more of a neutral base um this i got again this year i believe this is a pinafore it's a bit um a bit shorter just below the knee probably um and this is from nomad originally again a sustainable brand but i actually got it second hand I got it on Depop um, which is lovely and it's like a nice I think they call it fur green colour so yeah the only problem with this is it's corduroy and I just find everything sticks to it and with a dog that has some white fur as you can probably tell it already needs lint rolling <laughs> but no I've worn this a lot and I wear this all year round so I really really enjoy wearing that this year and then we've got this it's just a wee you know knee length casual I suppose dress again I got that second hand originally I actually don't know that brand I don't know Billy and Blossom <laughs> I'm not sure but it's a nice flattering sort of dress I wear it under jumpers a lot I wear it over leggings a lot I wear it over long sleeve tops a lot I just it's a really easy thing to wear so I wear it all year round and I got it for like a fiver and then this is a sort of dress well I suppose it is it's like a shirt dress um and wear it over leggings because it is quite short i wouldn't want to wear that just itself so i'd either wear it over leggings or i suppose you could wear it over like cycling shorts um and it's again it's really lightweight and i actually got it last winter and i wasn't wearing it a huge amount and i was worried that i'd maybe made an error and then this summer i've just absolutely lived in it because it's really breathable this is again sea salt <laughs> um but again second hand just got it on depop um and it's a really it's like a long sleeve kind of like a tunic fit almost i really really enjoy it And then we've got my dungarees. I couldn't have a wardrobe without a pair of dungarees. I've, I've just loved them for years. So these I got last year. What was it this year? I've, got, I've clearly got quite a few new things this year. These are from Finisterre originally. <laughs> Again, I got them on Depop secondhand, which was a bit risky because they were still quite pricey because they were brand new. Um, they just didn't fit properly, I think, the person that, that had them. Um, and with Depop, you know, it's difficult with returns. You can't really return stuff. So I was a bit like, oh gosh, I hope I like them. And I opened them up and I tried them on and I love them. They're just, yeah, it's just a really beautiful color. They're nice and chunky. I like that. I haven't worn them much in the summer because they are a bit warm, but yeah, during the autumn winter, I'm intend to wear and wear these a lot. And Finisterre is a brand. Again, they're based down in Cornwall. So in Britain, in England. Um, and I've been aware of them a while, but this is the first year that I've really started buying from them and I've been super impressed. They're one of my favorite brands now. They're really ethical and sustainable and their quality of the clothing is just second to none. So love those. And then the last for this section of my wardrobe is a jumpsuit. And I got this again from Sea Salt, got this new actually. Um, and it's one of my most worn items. I find it so easy to wear again all year round, less so in the winter, cause it is like a, uh, light cotton um, but it's a really easy colour to wear and it's got pockets again it's got a tie waist and yeah I just really really enjoy this so now we'll have to cover essentially the bulk of my wardrobe quite literally and that is my jumpers or sweaters um, <laughs> you call them that in America I think obviously i live somewhere cold so this is absolutely essential in my wardrobe and i often wear one to two jumpers all year round and this year i bought a couple of new pieces um in preparation because i wear them so much they do wear out so i was excited to like intentionally purchase a couple of new things to help me keep warm this winter the first of which is this new jumper um or hoodie i suppose because it's got a hood on the back 
think it's my only hoodie. Yeah, I'm more of a jumper person than a hoodie person. Um, and it's basically just like wearing teddy bear. <laughs> it's really warm. And yeah, I always, I really thought it had that cabin-y vibe. You can imagine wearing this and like having hot chocolate out in a cabin. And I was actually quite, um, I got it in sale. That was where I thought it was quite reasonably priced. I think it was about 30 pounds. And it's actually made from recycled polyester, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, it's super snuggly, love it. I've not worn it much yet because I only got it a month or so ago and it's been really hot. Um, and this I am, oh, I'm so excited to wear. Again, it's a really thick jumper and I got it recently so I've not worn it. This is from Finisterre. So the brand I mentioned that have the dungarees and I got this new. And it is wool, so I should say, a bit of a disclaimer with my wardrobe, it's not entirely vegan. So there are some wool and leather. The leather is essentially just one pair of shoes, I think, that I've had pre going vegan um and will replace when they die i didn't i decided against getting rid of everything in my wardrobe when i decided to be vegan i've decided to just wear it out until it until i can't wear it anymore and then i replace it with vegan walls have been a bit trickier for me um for ages i just bought secondhand wool i was happy i was okay um wearing secondhand wool and it's only been this year that i've decided to get a few pieces oh well, this and some socks essentially from finisterre um that have wool in them and the reason i've done that is that finisterre and some other brands do have policies when it comes to their wool so the welfare of the sheep you can be a bit more confident about they don't do a lot of the practices that are quite harmful to sheep i don't know if you know much about it but you can look into it and why i wouldn't want to get wool new from fast fashion basically um and i suppose i was thinking from an environmental point of view wool is a lot more sustainable I suppose than like some of the more man-made options that I think um, are vegan but they often contain plastics in them like polyester so it's completely a personal choice and you know I just wanted to make that clear that I'm um, you know I don't want I don't want people to be I miss I don't want to mislead you basically and that's that's a choice I've made and yeah and I just found a real difference in keeping warm like I put this on and I was boiling <laughs> instantly but I'm just gonna live in it and it's such a flattering fit um, I really love the fit. Uh, I've got, I'll show you in a second, I've got another thing from Minister and I really love they've got these like drop sleeve and it's a really flattering, but cannot wait. I'm sure you'll see me in it lots this winter. This just thrifted, nice thick cotton. This one, I think it's just from Gap. Yeah, originally. Uh, and yeah, that sort of higher turtleneck. Um, I don't usually put these on hangers, don't worry. I know that these should be folded, so don't, nobody panic. <laughs> Again, thrifted, don't know the brand. Um, this is wool, but you can tell it's quite cheap wool. It's a little bit scratchy, which is fine when I'm wearing either a long sleeve top or another jumper underneath, um, and it is nice and warm. So yeah, it's, it's already bubbling a bit though. So I do think it's probably gonna see me through one, maybe two more winters, and then we might have to let it go. That's my kind of knits. Uh, well, that's most of my knits. I've got one more. And then this is the other thing I mentioned from Finisterre. This is a sweater and it's a bit of a heavier weight sweater than some of my others, which has been really nice to layer up. But I actually got this secondhand on Depop. So that was a real find. I think that was, was it like 20 quid? And I think, yeah, Finisterre is definitely pricier. So that would have been a lot more money new and it was in perfect nick. So was chuffed and then this is my other bit of merch um, I have other colours and styles but these are the three items I, I own so you've probably seen some of these and uh, this one in particular because I wore it in a video recently I did on slow living over the hustle culture and I know that was quite a popular video for me and a few folk were asking about it so yeah this is the the cropped fit um, jumper which I've actually really enjoyed I don't have much cropped in my wardrobe I used to be all about the crop when I was 21 and decided I wanted to do my belly and now I'm 29 and don't want to do that so <laughs> but this is really nice over like my dress like my blue day dress I really like it I like it over my jumpsuit I just yeah it's just really cute um and it's got like a slightly fleecy inside you wouldn't really be able to see that so it's nice it's actually quite warm for something that's cropped but yeah for the like like um spring summer I've just worn it constantly I love the colour as well this is like a, another knit but it's a thin much thinner knit so again i wear this during the spring summer months and this is from everlade originally new was expensive um but i've had it for at least three years now and it still looks in pretty good nick i am quite careful with it because i'm just really conscious that it's i think it's um hand wash only and I, yeah i got this and i was like i'm not a hand wash only person this is probably the only thing that i'm gonna have or dry clean only whatever whichever way you do it and i have hand washed it a couple of times 
and it was pain. So I don't, <laughs> I don't want to stain it because that's going to be a nightmare. And then I suppose these are just sort of your basics for people that are outdoorsy like me. I've just got a couple of fleeces that I can layer up when I go out hiking. I think they're both from Mountain Warehouse. And just one other sweater, just a cheap grey sweater, which I've had forever and will be going no doubt quite soon because it's just very old um, and I prefer my other sweaters, but I still, I'm waiting to see how much I layer it because I layered it a lot in the winter and it was really quite useful, but it has just developed a hole in the sleeve. So on its last legs um so i'll sort these out and then i'm going to show you coats jackets and then we will move on to shoes and accessories we're getting there guys not much left to go so coats wise and three coats and a jacket essentially so we've got this nice thick uh very very cozy coat um that's actually more my smart layer as well i don't really have like proper smart clothing as you probably could tell i like stuff that's functional i like stuff that's practical it just fits my lifestyle I, did, I have no need for a really posh coat now so this does me fine it's longer and it's like wearing a sleeping bag so in the really really cold we get up here in the winter and lots of snow it's just a dream to wear and then we have a real pop of color in my wardrobe this was a bit of impulse well it wasn't impulse buy in the sense that i wanted like a midway jacket uh, or coat but it was impulse in terms of the color <laughs> i was just like you know what i'm feeling the mustard vibe um so yeah I wear this, you've probably seen this and you will see this a lot going forwards um, because we're going into autumn soon, it's end of August now so this is what I wear pretty much every single day through <laughs> the autumn, winter into spring. Um, yeah, it's nice and cosy and I just like the colour, it's nice contrast, particularly in the autumn. And then we have, this is a bit, yeah, there's a couple, I should say there's a couple of things I'm not showing you today. So I have like my walking trousers and my waterproof trousers that I suppose I just count as kit for when out hiking. This is a similar thing, just a waterproof, <laughs> essentially. Really, really lightweight, um, high quality. Well, not like super, super high quality, but it was almost a hundred pounds. So it is definitely like proper downpour proof and it holds up really, really light. So yeah, if you want me to do like something on hiking gear or outdoorsy clothes and stuff like that at some point. I'm happy to do that, uh, that's interesting. And then I just have one jacket and it's just my denim jacket that again I've had for probably five years now, one of the oldest pieces in my wardrobe and denim jackets, they just last, don't they? So yeah, obviously this is something I wear through the spring, summer. <clears throat> and then accessory wise, I, I don't have much to show you. I have a couple of hats. So again, you've probably seen this one. This is from Black Black Yak originally. This is nice red kind of autumnal colours in there. And then this one's new for this year because I wore that so much, I have stretched it a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit stretched. And to be honest, it was quite nice to have. I thought it'd be quite nice to have options um, because I wear hats all through, you know, the autumn winter. Very much a hat person or a beanie person. And this is actually from the brand Passenger, um, which again I found this year actually, and really like their stuff. They've got great variety and I think actually quite affordable, but still really sustainable. And again, they're a UK brand. So yeah, I will try, I should have said, I will try and link a lot of this stuff down below or at least link the brands most as you as you can see a lot of my stuff is older or second hand so i won't always be able to link the item i should be able to link this and there's a couple of bits but yeah, just in case you're interested i will try and do that bag wise i have this off like shoulder shoulder bag that to be honest i don't particularly like um you can tell it's just not really my vibe i got it probably from new look this might be the oldest thing in my wardrobe actually. I've probably had it for about seven years. But it's a handy size to have and I'm so uninterested in bags that I haven't got around to replacing it with something that I like more. So it's kind of just a standard. Uh, what I do like though <laughs> is this, this rucksack from Cecil. Um, it's a nice canvas rucksack and I'm a rucksack person. I, I have other rucksacks like outdoor rucksacks. I'm, I just find them more comfortable, they're more practical. I really like the clasp on this. Uh, you can fit a lot in it. It's sturdy. It's a nice green colour. It's more my kind of thing. Um, but that's it. That's all the bags I have. I don't have like a smart, you know, like clutch bag. Again, I don't really need it. If I did, I'd probably just borrow one from my, from my friends that are a bit more equipped. <laughs> um, but yes, I think now I will take you guys downstairs and we'll cover shoes and then we've done it. We've done all of the wardrobe. 
So here are the shoes. So we just keep them on this wee shoe rack slash extra seating. I usually have like a throw and I actually usually have a mirror on there as well, but I've just moved it so you can see it. Got that from Donnell. Really, really nice um, shoe rack. I'll link it below. It was still available. But anyway, where should we start? We'll start this end. <laughs> so obviously these are my practical shoes. So I have my wellies that I'm very, very sad about. They have started leaking, which is just a disaster. I'm going to have to replace them, but I will be buying the exact same ones because I love them. They're fleecy on the inside. They're really comfy. They're affordable and they've been fantastic. And I've had them for three years and worn them most days. So I'm not, I'm not mad about that. <laughs> my walking boots, which are the best walking boots I've ever had. You can tell they're kind of filthy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> these are vegan. So I eventually, my old walking boots ran out because I'm very hard on my shoes. You'll probably be able to tell. And I wear, literally wear these every day when I'm out with the dog. Um, and I got these three years ago and they're still perfectly waterproof. Most comfortable walking boots I've ever, ever worn. And I cannot rave about them enough. I got these from Will's Vegan Store and I'm pretty sure they still sell those. So I'll definitely like those for you. And then I've got my sort of less practical, well, they're still practical, but my non-outdoorsy shoes. <laughs> Just got a pair of like brown ankle boots again from Marks and Spencers. These are nice because these are vegan. Marks and Spencers is quite good if you're vegan and you live in the UK and you don't want to pay. So Will's Vegan store some great vegan shoes, but they are more expensive. These are probably only about £40. Um, but Marks and Spencers are really good at labelling their vegan items. So that's really handy. And yeah, they're fine. And then just got, again, these are Marks and Spencers pair of like canvas trainers. In retrospect, I probably would have wanted like a pair of grey trainers because they're just a little bit more... They go in my wardrobe a bit more, but I just went with navy because these are also quite good for like being active in. They are like an active wear trainer as well, so they're quite versatile. And then my oh, my favourite shoes probably are my Birkenstocks. These are their vegan range, and I have lived in them all summer, and they're the most comfortable. I've never had. I'm not being a sandal person ever, but when I saw these, I was like, these are my kind of sandals. <laughs> they're not flimsy, you know. They're not the kind of thing where you just go over on your ankle or things dig in. They're just like soft and comfortable, and I think they look great. My partner's less cute. I think they look great. <laughs> and then these I've had for donkeys years. These are my oldest shoes, I think, now in my wardrobe really quite battered they're my only pair of heels essentially and these are the leather well i think they're leather actually i'm not entirely sure i'm just presuming that they are leather um so when they well they kind of are a little bit past their best now <laughs> but i will be replacing them and i probably will get a similar style but like a brown i think in a brown color would be nice because i just don't have really any black in my wardrobe but yeah so that's what is that three six pairs of shoes and that's I find you know I might change up the shoes at some point but in terms of number that suits me just fine and that's it that's my entire capsule wardrobe so I probably have I've not counted maybe you have I'm not sure probably have between 40 and 50 items in my wardrobe including shoes so it's not super minimal by all means like I'm not pretending I'm sure I could live with less but I find if I have more than that it gets a bit overwhelming um but yeah if you're interested in this kind of thing i'm happy to do a bit more content on this i know it's a little bit different from some of my other content so i'm interested to see your thoughts on it maybe you don't want to see anything like this again and this was really dull or maybe you'd like to hear a bit more about captioning maybe how i shop for my capture wardrobe or styling whatever i'm happy to show you so yeah do do drop a comment if you'd like um like anything like that and like i said i'll link things down below i'll link my merch down below if you're interested in seeing that but otherwise, thank you very much for watching, particularly as I think this might be quite a long video. <laughs> I appreciate your patience and I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next week.